Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe, and let's get started, shall we? Now I'm going to show how to create a item in an AV. Uh, we just started, we are actually a furniture store but we start, just started uh, selling coffee mugs. So I need to create a, a coffee mug, um, standard coffee mug, uh, that we're going to start shipping out. I am the sales order processor, but normally the uh, sales department does not deal with uh, creating items, but in this case, they have asked me to take care of that uh, because we, <coughs> we need to urgently uh, start stocking these and shipping them out. So uh, I am logged in as the sales order processor and in, in the system I have my own role center. Uh, the system is role tailored so when I log in I get only the things that I need to see as a sales order processor. Uh, I have my actions on top here, they're all sales related. I have my tiles giving me information about status of things. And on the side, I have a menu of items that I can quickly get to. One of them is items. Uh, and I need to create a new item, so I go into the item list. Uh, that gives me a list of all items. And as you can see, that's an interactive list. And the site fact boxes um, actually give me details on every single item as I click on them. Uh, what I want to do now is create a new item. So I just hit new. And here it asks me for a number. I sequentially number my uh, items. So I just want the system to pick a new number. I can just do that by hitting enter. And then the system assigns automatically the next number in the sequence. The description is going to be a coffee mug. Uh, and I'm going to dash standard. I might have standard. Might have different coffee mugs than standard. Right now, we only have one coffee mug to sell. It's the standard coffee mug. Um, <coughs> and that's it. Now I want to say what the base unit measure is, and the base unit measure is the lowest uh, unit. Usually, it defined as the lowest unit that we traded in. So that would be a piece. We can sell one piece of that. And I can go in here and just select pieces. We sell it in pieces. And you can also use something like H's, um, which people prefer, some people prefer, or but as long as it identifies the lowest number, uh, the smallest number, smallest denomination that you actually traded in. Uh, the item category code, uh, I have to select that. And this is a furniture company, like I said before. So we're going to have two options here, furniture or miscellaneous. In this case, this is miscellaneous because it's not furniture. Uh, if we start selling a lot of coffee mugs, then we might actually want to expand this into creating a, a separate category for this. So in this case, I'm just going to hit miscellaneous. Um, when I and now go to creating a, um, going into the detail of the item, I can see that there are red stars where I need to populate things. And in this case, in, on the invoicing side, this is a standard costed item. I want to change that into a FIFO item. Um, it tells me that I need to put in the tax product posting group. It's a slightly misleading because we only need this for the, if we're doing business with VAT or in Europe, or maybe in Canada, 
But in the US, we need the tax post tax group code, I'm sorry. So not this one, just that one. And in this case, I am going to pick not taxable, it's non taxable item. And that's just for simplicity, obviously, it is a taxable item most of the time, unless there's a tax certificate um, that the reseller has. But right now, we're not concerned with setting up tax. Now, if I look at the other tabs, uh, there are there's no specific information that needs to be put in. There's no red star. Um, so this is all we need to create our first item. And then I just hit OK. The system saves immediately when you leave a field. So there is no save. Uh, but I hit OK. And then I can take a look at my item by filtering on it in my list. So I start typing coffee. And here we have, I actually do have another item there. The standard coffee mug um, generated by a colleague of mine. Uh, that's it.